Okay, we're back, and I, I want to talk again a little more about the dot and what it means. We've talked about the straight line and a trend and its use in congestion and so forth. But let's go back and think a little bit about the meaning of this. Now, as we remember, it captures the high, low, and close of these three bars and projects it forward to this bar, okay? Now, so what it's doing is really getting the, the, the base of this activity, and we might call it the collective energy of these bars and showing where that collective energy is at this point in time. Did you get that? The collective energy of the last three bars move forward one bar into the future to show you where that is at that point in time. Now let's think a little bit about energy. You remember when we looked at the raw data coming through and talked about how these were trades between individual buyers and sellers being recorded one by one and sent out to the world and then they were collected into bars. So this is a record of human activity and the bar in this situation here, wouldn't this really be the human activity of the last three days? And because it's the average of the high, low, close, wouldn't it be the average of the sort of the center or the heart of that activity? And so when that activity is, is in a trend, that uh, uh, it's moving up, and when it's uh, static, it's moving sideways, and that would be sort of an expression of recent activity, the center of it, that recent activity. Now, I want us to think about that row of prices again, but I want us to think about the number of individuals involved in the market and what that might look like in reality. I spent a lot of time in China recently, uh, a couple of years living there, and uh, it just is astounding the number of people. And uh, the, the concept of crowd becomes very, very vivid to you when uh, you experience time in China. This is a picture of the subway system in Taipei, but it looks just exactly like the subway system in Shanghai as well. Just unbelievable numbers of people all the time. Now, the market has this number of people as well. And they're all participating and watching their screens and taking action. Now, when you combine crowds of people with anxiety about money, and which is to say high emotion, uh, crowds can become very dangerous and, and uh, uh, really manifest panic. This is a picture of a bank panic in uh, China in uh, the 30s. And it's not that we don't have bank panics here, but this is a very dramatic picture. And it illustrates what I'm trying to show, which is the emotions of crowds. There's a much less emotional crowd in the U.S. It's a, uh, a Washington, D.C. subway on the 4th of July. Um, but you can imagine what would happen if there were a gunshot or if there were, were a fight to break out, uh, uh, how quickly the mood can shift in crowds. So now, when we come back to the dot, now I want you to start thinking about the dot as the expression of crowd energy. And in here, crowd energy is low. And in here, the crowd energy is high.